Oh my gosh, this is like not, <laughs> I did not see it. Hi friends, happy Saturday, hope y'all are well. As you guys are hopping on, say hello, um, and let me know where you are coming in from. Today's grocery haul is gonna look a little different because if you are new, um, that is a sad batch of strawberries and I'm calling Walmart. We're, this is not gonna work. <laughs> This is not going to work because they don't put enough in here. Maybe they measured it. I'm going to weigh that joker and see because I feel like that's not enough strawberries. I mean, they're giant. Look at that. They're huge. We're going to weigh it together. I'm just saying. I'm not going to be that person, I promise. Hi, Julie. Hi, Janet. Um, so if you guys are new, uh, comment new. I've been on a health journey now for about three years. I started out doing uh, keto and... Um, had some great success with it, lost 30 pounds in three months, has been able to really sustain that lifestyle for the last couple of years. Um, but over the last six months, I'd say to a year, I've really been exploring um, more hormone friendly, gut friendly. Um, that is a sad piece of it also. I really thought I was getting five. Okay, what is happening here? How many pounds is this supposed to let other people do your shopping? This is what happens. Um, it's fine. Um, so this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a gut healthy grocery haul. Um, and I'll kind of explain a little bit more as I'm going. Um, and over the last couple of grocery hauls that I have shared with you guys, I have pretty much told you what the meals are going to be. I'm going to let that be a secret this time. I have planned out my meals um, for this next week for our family. Um, but I've got some fun things in store that I'm going to be sharing with you over the next little while, um, to kind of teach you some new stuff about, uh, your gut and, um, how to be, uh, gut friendly. So, um, anyway, make sure you share out this video. Don't forget to follow. If you're not already following, make sure you do, um, so that you don't miss anything. Um, make sure you have your live notifications on. Welcome Maddie. Thank you for sharing, Karen. I appreciate you. Um, if you don't know how to turn on live notifications on Facebook, you just tap on the screen and then three dots will pop up. Hey, Kim. Hey, Christine. Um, but y'all let me know what's going on in your neck of the woods. We just got back from a birthday party. Um, I feel like I got some sun. I don't know if I did or not, but I feel like I did. Um, and yeah, we're going we're gonna to go through this together. Um, so a couple of the meals that I'm going to be making for our family this week are meals that most of you are familiar with or you have seen that we make before. Um, except I'm just going to have to make a couple of very slight um, changes to a couple of the things that um, I make each week. Um, it's fine. We're on, a, we're on a learning journey. So my goal is, if you're new here, I like to, I'm a busy working mom of two. Anybody else got kids? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Um, I have two kids. We work full time. My husband and I both own our own businesses. And if you are a small business owner, then you know you work really hard because like you wear a lot of hats. Um, and so my time is very limited. If you're like me and you have very limited time in your day, just drop me in the comments. Just write the word me. Um, and then you'll know that you're in the right place because we're here. We're doing this together. So my goal is, number one, I want to provide healthy meals for my family. Number two, I want to make sure that I can get it in the most efficient amount of time. I don't have time to waste and I don't have a whole lot of time to be in the kitchen cooking all day long. Um, and my guess is if you're like me, then that relates to you and you can agree. You want to provide meals for your family. Um, they want to be healthy, but it also needs to be, oh, that's trash. Unless Ronnie just stuck it in there. Yep, that is. Um, so if you're like me, that's kind of a thing for you. Um, you're wanting something that's going to be done pretty fast. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome, Pam. Hey, Michelle. Y'all don't forget to say hi. So um, some of these things are, uh, they're definitely um, new and not normally things that I would have bought before whenever I was keto. Um, you're going to see a lot of very fresh um, produce in here because I found out a lot about myself over the last couple of weeks. So let's get to it. Um, and again, don't forget to share out the video if you guys don't mind. All right, so um, first things first, I will tell you, hey, Michelle, that um, the reason why the shift in lifestyle, obviously, is I want to get better with my gut health, um, but Ron and I took a test a couple of, well, it's probably almost a month ago now. It just took this long for us to get our results back. It's a very specialized test. Hey, Cheryl. 
And essentially what you do is you send in a sample and they analyze it. And essentially what they do is they give you the results of what are the foods that are going to work the best for your body. You have three kids at home, I feel you. Um, so you, your body is unique. Um, and that's why most of what I share with you, it's not about a diet, it's about a lifestyle. Um, and so we found out that some of the things that we were eating being keto were actually, some things were good and some things were not, um, specifically for our body types. So I'll give you one specific example. I use bell peppers a lot, green bell peppers. If you've been following me, you know, I put green bell peppers and onions in a lot of stuff that I cook. Green bell peppers are on my list that I can have. So it'll say, enjoy, like they give you, breaks it down and tells you all these different types of foods that you, that are your superfoods, your foods that you can enjoy, foods that you need to minimize. So like, don't eat them all the time, but you can enjoy them every so often. And then um, finally, uh, foods that you need to completely eliminate from your diet because they just don't work well with your system, your gut health. Um, and so bell peppers are one of those that um, I personally can enjoy. Um, but Ronnie cannot, he has to cut those out of his diet. So of course now I've got to go back to the drawing board. So what I'm doing is I'm educating myself a lot on, um, how to make this happen. And of course I'm going to share it all with you guys. So for me specifically, um, a lot of what was on my okay list are a lot of fruits. In fact, my superfoods, there were a lot of fruits that were there. Um, what I actually found out was though that a lot of the vegetables that I was eating, um, they were not so good for me. So a lot of like the vegetables that I can, um, that I can personally have, um, that are kind of out of like our normals are squash and zucchini. Um, I can enjoy bell peppers. Let's see what else, um, did I say? Tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, um, and that's pretty much it. And then like a lot of the others, like broccoli and asparagus and um, a lot of those other types of veggies that I was eating, um, they're a no-go. Green beans, no-go. So I've got to avoid a lot of that. Even some nuts and things that I was consuming um, aren't really good for my specific digestive tract. So um, I got a lot of fruits um, and I unbagged all of this and I probably should not have because now I'm going to have to go through it in a weird way um, because I'm not going to be doing this grocery haul um, by meal. So if you're taking notes, um, which I know some of you do, can I tell you the name of the test? Yes. If you will message me, um, I will send you a link if you want to take a look at the test. Um, and if you want to do it for yourself, for sure, just send me a DM and I'll send you over, um, a link. So, um, let's see if I can figure out, maybe I'll do it by type, food type. I think that's the, probably the best thing. So let's start with some produce. Okay. So, um, for produce, uh, a lot of my superfoods are actually fruits. Okay. Um, Nancy, and if you'll send me a DM, I'll be happy to send that link over to you. Um, so kiwi is a super fruit for me, which is really exciting because, um, I love kiwi. Um, also a super fruit for me are strawberries. Um, which I need to measure this because I feel like that's not a full, I feel like they gypped me. Y'all, do you see how empty that is? Look at that. It's like, there's like six strawberries in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven strawberries. I mean, they're ginormous, but I don't know. So, uh, kiwis are, um, kiwi, uh, strawberries. What else is a super fruit for me that I put in here somewhere? Oh, here we are. Um, pineapple is a super fruit for me. Um, and then there were some others as well, um, that were super fruits, but like these are primary. And then I think, um, limes, limes were also a super fruit. And I feel like I got limes somewhere. Here we are. Here they are. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to work on increasing and maybe doing, um, at least one fruit a day, if not more, um, so that I can, um, get better in that area. I also, um, we've got some grapes here. We have, I'm trying to find fruits. Fruits, fruits, fruits. I think I might have grabbed them all. I thought I swore I bought some blueberries. Maybe I didn't. Um, blueberries are also on my list. Oh, we've got lemons here. We've got some grapes here as a super fruit um, or as a, um, a gut healthy food. Um, let's see. I think that might be all the fruits that I got. All right, so let's move on to the veggies. Welcome, um, Kathy. Hey, Trishilla. Hello, Linda. Um, let's see. All right, so let's go with the the, uh, the veggies now. We've got some eggplant. We have squash. We have, um, those are cucumbers. 
So cucumbers, I guess I didn't, I didn't think I bought any zucchini. Um, here's a new one for me, parsnips. Have you guys ever cooked parsnips before? Um, if you have, send me your favorite way that you make parsnips because these are on my list and I don't know that I've ever cooked a parsnip, but we're gonna learn today. So that's on the list. We've got tomatoes. We have some green lettuce. Um, this is like the um, the green leaf lettuce and also some, um, some fresh radishes. Um, I have made radishes before, like um, like potatoes. When you roast these in the oven, they taste exactly like potatoes. So that's kind of what my plan is um, for a meal one night with that. You've never done parsnips either? Oh, wow. Um, and then I also got a can of rutabagas because rutabagas are also on my list of um, fresh produce that I can have. So there's that. And I'll have to put all of this away in just a few minutes. We have to have a work night at the church that we're doing. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know that we started this new church. We opened this new church. We have a work day. We're going to go down there in a little bit, and we're going to um, we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning. Um, so there's that. Um, okay, so also got some avocados. Um, I'm saving uh, proteins for last, so I want to make sure I get everything else. I got a jar of pepperoncinis because we're going to do a Mississippi Mud Roast later um, this week. Uh, so you guys stay tuned for that. Welcome, Jamie. Hi, Ruth. How's it going? Um, let's see. Parsnips are amazing in soup. They look like carrots or taste like potato. Kind of sweet. Ooh. Oh, that makes me happy then. Okay, perfect. I, I was thinking about roasting them. Is that how you usually make them? Let me know. Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of research to learn how to do this. So, um, got some avocados in this. Um, let's see. What else do we have? The cheese is definitely on our minimized list. Like, we can't have it all of the time. So, um, of course, this will probably be like once a week we're going to indulge in cheese. You just ro um, roasted them. Okay. You roasted is nice too. Awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, so, of course, like if I make sandwiches or something, um, then I'll incorporate cheese. If I do like a, a personal, like one of those low-carb type pizzas, I'll still do this. Um, they're in your veggie soup, so so good. Okay. Um, so I did get that because we don't have to completely eliminate it out of our diet, but it's just saying we don't need to eat every, all day long cheese in every single meal that we eat. Um, I also did get some butter. This is on my enjoy list. So we got some of that because I was almost out of butter. That's a nice, healthy fat. Um, something that I did learn about myself though, was that, um, I'm obsessed with cashews and pistachios. You guys have to let me know what your favorite, um, like your favorite nuts are. Do you like almonds? Do you love, like, what are your favorites? Um, I personally love almost all of them, but I would say cashews and pistachios are probably at the top. Well, I have to avoid those. Those are uh, not on my list. Um, yeah, um, I'm so, so sad. I told Ronnie, I was like, um, I literally, I've been eating those. Cashews I knew probably weren't the most healthy um, in terms of nuts, but they're just so good. Um, but I was like, pistachios are supposed to be really amazing for you. And they are, but just not for me. So for my gut health, I have to cut them out. Um, but I did find out that sunflower seeds are a superfood for me. So I'm going to start getting creative about how to include sunflower seeds into my lifestyle. I even thought about buying sunflower butter instead of like peanut butter and cashew butter and all the fun stuff that I love. Um, I'm sure you can make it organically. Like y'all do know that you can make your own peanut butter, right? Or your own almond butter. You literally just buy the, the, um, the nuts and then put them in the blender and they will eventually, if you keep on blending them down, they'll turn into butter. Um, so if you want some very clean, um, ingredients in your, your peanut butter, then you can make your own. Um, so I don't know, we might venture out into that. I might just buy some sunflower butter just to get started and see how that goes. Um, but I did get some sunflower kernels because this is a superfood for me. And now I need to start adding this into my diet, um, every single day. So we have that. Um, and then this is a final thing that I got some almond milk. That's something that's on my list, um, that I can enjoy. Um, but this is some, something you probably would have never seen me buy before whenever um, I was keto. And that's rice because I was cutting out carbs. Well, come to find out. Um, so remember I said that it really depends on your body. Hey, Norma, um, on what types of foods you can have. So Ronnie and I both can, so he can have brown rice. Like that's on his enjoy list of things. Um, 
I actually can have all of the types of rice for my gut. So that was weird. Um, I think that's interesting. So we're going to be consuming more brown rice around our house. And um, this minute rice is like the easiest thing ever. It takes like no time at all. It's done in like 10 minutes and, and under. Um, so I got some of that. But then I also bought this because if I start meal prepping for lunch, I thought maybe this would be something fun to do um, maybe once or twice a week. I'm doing some chicken and then there's this rice blend that has wild rice, brown rice, and white rice in there. It also has some red rice in there as well, but um, I figured I would try to add that up. It's got like a little, um, like a recipe on the back that we might try. So we're going to be throwing rice back into the diet. We'll see. Is there testing to see what the best foods are? Yes. So you must have hopped on late. So I, yeah, what we did was we sent in a sample. It was a stool sample. You sent it in and then they analyze it and they test it. And then they give you results that are tailored specifically to you. So for example, um, like Ronnie and I both did it and then we sent it in. He had to create an account and then I had to create an account. And then it sent us our loot of food. So we know what foods are superfoods, what foods are things that we um, can enjoy. So superfoods are like things that you want to make a point to add into your diet every day. It is interesting. Like, I love it. Like, I love, because for me, I just want to be healthy, right? Like, we just want to show up. Your gut impacts so much, including your mood, including how much energy you have, your mental state. Like, it impacts even, like, how much weight you carry on your body. Um, so there's a lot of, a lot of research and understanding back to your gut health. And so that's kind of like where I'm at right now. Um, and also really just putting, um, super clean foods into my body. I like, I'm, I'm over all of this stuff that they've been putting in our food. Like I'm just over it. I'm, I know that that's why a lot of us just don't feel very good. So we're going to do some really good clean ingredients and, um, message me directly if you want a link, um, to that test. There's several different options that you can do. Um, Ron and I did like just the baseline one. We just did the simple one and, um, but they have like a whole body intelligence test. So send me a message. I'll give you a link. You can check it out and see if it's something you want to do. My plan is I want to do the girls too, so that we have a real good firm understanding, um, of what our, yeah, like what's, what's good for our bodies. Um, you know, who knew that the vegetables that I were eating were the things that were causing a lot of the inflammation in my gut. Um, who knew I was eating broccoli and asparagus and green veggies and spinach in my smoothies and my gut does not like those things. So, um, yeah, just interesting to know. Um, so anyway, we got rice in our, in our, on our back on our list of things that we're going to try. Um, and we're going to see, and of course this is a journey, just like everything else, you guys, we're all, we're never ever going to reach a final destination. So, um, we're in this together. We're learning together. So make sure you, uh, make sure you follow so in terms of protein, I can have all the meats. I can have all the proteins. Ronnie can have all the proteins. Um, none of them were, uh, were like on our list of things that we shouldn't have. Salmon was my superfood um, when it came to um, proteins and the sunflower seeds. Um, but as far as everything else goes, nothing was really off limit. So yeah, send me a message. I'll share the link for you. Um, if you're watching on TikTok and you drop what's the link, I'm not going to be able to go back and get those comments. So send me a DM. If you want to go to my face, I mean, uh, to my page and tap on that link, scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see all of my social media. Just send me a message on Instagram and I'll send it over to you. So, um, in terms of protein for this week, I've got some chicken breasts. I'm going to meal prep for some lunches this week. I have a pork loin that we're going to do later this week for dinner, some ground beef, um, cause I'm thinking we're going to do some hamburgers, um, maybe Friday night next week. Um, some bacon. I got a chuck roast because we're going to do that Mississippi mud roast. Everything that's in that is totally on our list that we can still have. Um, and then I also got some turkey for, um, for sandwiches. And then finally I got these. I have not made these in forever. Um, but we're going to do it this week and I'm going to do it with you guys. And that's those, um, the Cornish hens. Um, so I got two of them. We're going to roast those in the oven and we'll have those for dinner one night this week. Ronnie's going to be excited. This is one of his favorite things. His mom actually makes this more often than I do. And he always gets really giddy whenever she makes it. So, um, I didn't even tell him that we were making it. Can you hear me? He might have his headphones in, so you might not hear me, but He's going to be excited when he knows that this is on the list of things to do. Food in Canada is expensive. Girl, Jessica, food in America is expensive too. But I will tell you, if you, okay, so 
that is a common question that a lot of people ask me, um, is how much money do you spend on groceries? So the groceries that I bought are for this week. I usually buy, I used to do like massive, massive grocery hauls and I would buy like tons and tons of stuff and then I had no plan. And I found out that I was wasting a lot of money because I was throwing out food that was going bad. Um, or I would go to the grocery store and like forget that I had something or didn't have something and it was just always a nightmare. So now, I do my meal planning every week. I always know what my meals are going to be for the following week. And that's how I determine my grocery list. It's budget friendly. Um, it helps you to track, um, you know, what you are spending. Um, and it also helps you to keep up with the things that you do have in the house and the things that you don't have in the house. Um, my tab for groceries this week. Oh, and I did get, oh, I got, I got two more bags down here. I didn't even know that I had. Holy goodness. Um, lemon juice because I've been putting lemon in my water first thing whenever I wake up. Um, I've been doing a pinch of pink salt um, and a splash of lemon juice in my lukewarm water. I usually just fill up a cup and put it on my nightstand so it's room temperature and then I chug that when I first wake up. Um, the water, obviously for hydration. Um, the lemon juice is going to help with detoxifying your liver. And then the, um, the pink salt is going to replace electrolytes that are lost whenever you're sleeping. A lot of people, whenever they wake up, you're dehydrated already. So, um, yeah, it's for electrolytes. So that's what I do. So I, I got some more of the lemon juice because I was out. Plus I have some lemons over there. And then I got two more of the, um, the nuts that are good for me. And that's walnuts and pecan. So I might be making some salads and chicken salads and stuff. That's kind of why I got the grapes. Cranberries were also on my list of superfoods. But I couldn't find any cranberries that were unsweetened. Like, you know how you get, like, the dried cranberries? I couldn't find any um, that were unsweetened. So I wanted to buy fresh cranberries, and we have a dehydrator. Um, but they didn't even have fresh cranberries. So we're going to – that's going to be a next time. But all in all, I got these two bundles of collards because we're going to have collards for dinner tomorrow, for Sunday dinner for family. Um, and that's actually on my list of like, I can only enjoy those every so often. So tomorrow will be the day I have collards and then I can't have them for a while. Um, but, um, for all of the groceries that I just shared with you guys, it was $140. So just kind of to give you an overall, typically my grocery hauls are running between a hundred and 140. And it really just depends on like, I stocked up on stuff like this that's going to be a little bit more expensive that I won't buy all of the time, if that makes sense. Um, so that stuff I don't buy all the time. This I'm not going to buy all of the time. Um, what else do I not buy? The butter. Um, I usually don't go through that. I might buy one like every three weeks or so. Um, yeah. So like you kind of just have to, you have to gauge it. But um, your body is your best investment. And if you are, I want you to think, because I, I have conversations every single day. I coach people, um, you know, week in and week out. And a lot of times people will say, oh, well, what you do is so expensive. And my response to that, and I'm, I'm talking to you right now, is I want you to ask yourself this. Number one, would you rather spend the money? And it's not that much more money. Like, honestly, like ketones, people, people talk to me, oh, ketones are expensive. No, they're not. They're $5 a serving. And most of you are going through the drive-thru for lunch, and you're spending $10, $15 on your lunch every single day. Some of you are going through Starbucks. You're spending $7 and $8. But no one like, asks questions about those things, you know? Think about the last time you went into a gas station and how much money you spent on junk, right? So whenever I think about the $5 of serving for ketones for something that's going to make me feel better and take care of my body, it's going to give me energy so that I can move my body and want to, you know, get up and move around, which is going to impact my mood and so many other things. Also, the foods that I'm eating, if I make the investment in spending, which I've proven to you, it's not much more than all that packaged junk that a lot of you go through the middle, like quick tip. Stay on the outside of your grocery store when you're shopping. Don't go down the aisles where all those boxed foods are because that's where you're going to spend a lot of money um, and you're going to end up with all those processed preservatives and all the extra sugars and hidden ingredients, fake ingredients. Y'all, I'm not kidding. Like, check your labels from now on. A lot of the labels, I know here in America, maybe not in Canada because um, you guys have different regulations than we do, um, but like check your ingredients. Sometimes it'll tell you on there it contains a bioengineered food product. You know what that means? It means that they literally altered the DNA of the food and it's not actually what it's supposed to be. So you guys are consuming fake foods essentially. So I want to I would rather spend the money up front on foods that are going to be better for me 
than to have to pay for the medical expenses later. Um, you know, all the medications and the doctor visits and all of the things. So take care of your body. I do agree with you. I saw someone say your body's a temple. It surely is. Um, and that's what it means to me to spend, um, a hundred to hundred and forty dollars a week for a family of four on groceries that are very clean and that are going to fuel our bodies in the proper way. I very much think that it's very much worth it. Um, and so a lot of you might disagree and that's okay. Um, but for sure that's, that's what we do around here. So that is my grocery haul. I'm going to go put, um, all these groceries away. I will tell y'all if you missed, um, I made, um, bread for the first time. So I've been on a sourdough bread journey. And, um, I like, I laugh at myself because, um, it did not rise. Like, okay. So look at, it's pretty, it's very pretty and it tastes good. It's so good. Um, but it really should be like that. <laughs> it, should, it should be higher, but it's not. Um, and that's okay. It was not bad for my first go, right? Like, don't you think I'm not going to waste it. We're going to eat this in something with something. We're going to eat it with meals or whatever. So I sliced it up. Um, and all of that. You just came across this. Does that include breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks? Yeah. Um, this is all my breakfast, lunch. This is what I'm going to be eating this week. This is, this is everything. Um, my plan is, and I, and of course, if you're not following, make sure you do. Cause I try to keep, I try to keep you guys updated on like my day to day, every day. Like watch my stories. That's really behind the scenes. You get to see a lot of what I do every single day. It's kind of, I use my stories as my diary. So you guys get to kind of see my foods and stuff that I eat. But, um, I think that I'm probably going to, now that I'm on this new gut health journey, like I'm going to learn how to make my own trail mix that includes, um, foods that are good for my particular body. Um, you know, certain things that are in a lot of those other ones, um, you know, I can't, I'm not supposed to have. So I want to feel my best. And so of course, as always, I just want to share those things with you. Um, you too. You're very welcome, Jamie. Um, so definitely follow, um, follow along. You're sure you can find better pricing in a different location. Yeah. Um, so also consider where you're shopping. So there are like pub, maybe pu not Publix. Publix has really got really good sales. Um, check your, check your local grocery stores and see like what kind of sales. I got all of this from Walmart. Um, and the reason why it's really simple for me is because, ooh, make croutons. That's a great idea, Norma. Side note, sourdough bread is supposed to be really good for your gut. So that's why we're, we're playing around with sourdough and seeing if I can make it. My goal is to make sandwich bread. That's what I really want. Yeah, Jamie, I was going to say that. So Aldi is a great place to shop. They're very, um, fairly inexpensive. Um, and they have a lot of clean ingredients. You can also find some really interesting, fun stuff in there too. Um, if, if grocery shopping is your thing, some people don't like it. I love to grocery shop. Um, you can do Aldi, you can do little L I D L is one, um, or just check your local grocery stores, like your Publix, your Harris Teeter, your food lion, like your whatever, and find out what meats they have on sale and stick with that. Um, so for me, I like to use the grocery pickup option. I know our Lowe's Foods has that. Um, Walmart has that. A lot of grocery stores now have the, um, the pickup option. And I love it because with your app, what you can do is you can go, okay, I want to make this. And then you literally add things to your cart and you can watch your total as you go. So you can go, Ooh, I didn't want to spend that. So we're going to take that off. And then you add something else. That's a great way to track it. And that's really where, um, I started to understand how to, um, to effectively budget our money better, um, with, um, with our groceries. And the reason for that ultimately was because Ronnie just started his own business and we've been forking out a lot of extra money for him to get that started up. He's now been working for himself. He started in at the end of January. So we're almost a month five of him doing this. And he's just now slowly starting to get his footing. Um, but we had to make some sacrifices over the last little while with me being a small business owner, him. And um, so financially, this made sense for us. For, for those of you that are like, I just think that it's expensive. I, I'm with you. I understand. But trust me on this. Um, it definitely, you, you can definitely do this. Um, again, go to my playlist if you're just wanting to explore getting started with um, healthy foods. Maybe you're not ready for like the gut health journey. Maybe you're not ready for the tests like I did, but you just want to get started. That's where I started and I highly recommend it. My journey started with fat loss. I wanted to lose weight. I started eating keto, um, processed foods were okay for me because it fit into my lifestyle at the time. And then it's evolved over time. I love you, babe. Um, 
it's evolved over time. The more knowledge that you have and the better habits that you have, the more that you can build on them. So this was not an overnight thing. I don't want for y'all to get overwhelmed, but that's the beauty in choosing me as your coach. So um, if you're following, of course, I share tips all the time. Um, if you choose ketones, you get an even more personalized experience with me. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I get to, this is my job. This is what I do. I've met a lot of friends online um, and um I can't wait to see what happens next. If you would love to learn how to do what I do and make income using your phone, you know, the one you're holding in your hand right now and watching this video, I can teach you how to do that. Um, there's $50 off of our promoter packs. The smaller promoter pack is $50 off. The larger promoter pack is $100 off. And then you can do the promoter membership for $1 and that expires tomorrow.